Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Coding. So this is a quick update to my work in progress app that I made for the iPhone 10. So basically, um, currently I have the iPhone 10 looking at my face and tracking uh, my face in real time. And it's kind of um, transferring all the data into uh, Blender. So I'm using the head and I actually texture the head um, this is the head that comes from um, Stop Staring book for Maya, and I'm using it uh, inside Blender. Um, now I already fixed the, the matrix thing um, using animation nodes, and I think I am only using the rotations for the head. The head doesn't actually pivot around uh, the neck at the moment. It's just pivoting around the, the mouth, but I think that's okay for now. Just a quick test, and I just want to show you uh, this is actually pretty good. Uh, the thing is that um, currently I'm not using the teeth or the eye, uh, but I can use, uh, you can see the teeth and actually the eyes, um, that's from the, if you are doing this using the iPhone 10, it's not actually um, being uh, scanned. Uh, but you can, of course, do that. It just like uh, maybe using the, like, a, like a projection. So I'm looking directly at the iPhone 10 now. Um, if I'm actually recording my the, my face and textures and then kind of uh, project it uh, back into Blender, I can kind of get my eye eye tracking as well. So it's pretty good. And yeah, I think it's running in 60 frames per second, if I, especially if I make it full screen. So now it's running even faster. And I can actually switch on render. Now it's rendering using Blender Cycles. My GPU is pretty old, but it's um, if I'm using Blender EV renderer, you know, it's gonna be real time. It's kind of like, so if only, if I can put my eyes into this model, so it's gonna be really, really nice. Now, like I said, currently, this model only using a little bit, just a bit of my blend shapes. There seems to be a slight, um, something slightly off with the, with a blend shape, if I'm doing the smile or opening my mouth or blinking, seems to be working, but I think some blend shape seems to be not working correctly. I'll, I'll have to check on that, but this is all the blend shapes that I'm currently using. It's not all, there. Are, there's a lot more that you can hook up from the iPhone 10, but uh, let me try doing like sneer or like angry, angry face. Um, yeah, like currently with this kind of head, you, you kind of model the head, but if I'm actually using the raw data from the iPhone 10, like my, my actual face being projected, it's going to be, um, a little bit more interesting because perhaps I can map my face into anyone's face. Uh, I think it's really good because in fact, I can actually rotate around and if I rotate my phone around, the head will track in 3D, in 360 degree, and I think that's really, really cool. Um, so yeah, so that's a quick demo. If you are kind of interested with this app, I'll, I'll try, continue developing it, and I don't know, uh, make it available in, in App Store real soon. So this is just um, a quick demo, just a face 3D uh, using an open sound controller. Um, it's gonna be for real time um, kind of a recording, real time animations for head and facial animations. Um, yeah, so let me know what you think and I see you next time. Thank you. Bye.